What's up, lads? So I know a lot of people have also been asking how to change just a rim, not like a tire, um, in Zmod. So I thought while I was doing that wheel one, I might as well do this one at the same time. So basically, I'm just gonna. I know I've got some rims, so I'm just gonna go ahead and merge in some rims real quick. So I'm just gonna shoot a ton of rims. I'm just not even gonna care about any. I'm just gonna grab a random one. Which grab this one. So basically, for starters, it's facing the wrong way, so I just got to rotate it 180. So once rotated, it is oversized. So what I first want to do is I want to pull out the old two wheels. But I'm only going to do the front just because I don't need to do the rear. As I'm only just doing it for tutorial purposes and that's a completely different size rim. So what I want to do is decompound this wheel. So dismiss it. And now what I'm wanting to do is I want to remove the whole inside rim. So there's a few different ways you can do this. So first you can go to your material browser and you can see that it says black. So basically what I'm wanting to do here is I just want to quickly find what the material is for the tire itself. So the tire is probably tire and it's got diff and good year. So I know it's holding badge rim black, basically these five. So I can go to, if I just want to do an easy way or a hard way, I can go to polygon mode up here and then click. And I can go to select my material and then I can look for what I'm needing. So I can look for, where is it, the Holden badge. Here we go. So Holden badge, rim, 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 black. So I can go click those four with, so I hold down left control and I just click them all. Bam, and then click select. And now I have the whole rim selected. So now I can just delete it, go on. All right. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and grab this rim. And basically, I just need to size it down so it perfectly fits. So I'm just going to hold left shift. If you hold down left shift while scaling down, or it basically just... So if, I'll show you what... This is if you do it without holding left shift. It, like, scales unproportionately and looks stupid. So just make sure you scale down correctly. So first, I want to quickly go to select them. And we're going to reset to world. And then I'll reset to local axes. It just helps me see where the axes are. So I can just match them up. So what I'm going to do is I just want to drag these axes into about the same position. Just like that. Yeah. Uh, get it done one. I like to get it done one part correct first. And then I can just go for the next one if needed, like that. As you can see, I scaled it unproportionally, so it comes out looking like that. So now what I want to do is I want to continue to scale down because it's um, too big. So if you won't want it moving like this, what you can go ahead and do is turn off pivot down here. So if you just turn off pivot, just like that, and then you can scale down and it works fine. But I moved it, so I want to do that. So now I just keep scaling down till about right there, just so it overlaps a little bit. That's what I do at least. And usually it works pretty much every time. So now if I just move it like this, and you can see, basically perfectly fits on the actual wheel. Now, I just got to scale on the x-axis because of it popping out. So I'll just scale it to a rough aspect. It's more or less just whatever looks right, and then you can tweak it if needed. So you see how this is like that? So because I don't really want to sit there wasting my time too much doing the X, so what I'm going to go and do is click vertex here, and then I'm going to click here, and then I'm just going to go select this part, and I'm literally just going to move it like that. So you see how the outer end is a tad too small? As it's got that gap, even no matter how much you move it forward and backwards, what you can do is you can go here, and I'm going to go left view, and I'm going to just scale these vertices up a bit. Oh, I've only really got X, so I'm going to make sure I have X and Y on. There we go. So now there's no gap, as you can see. So that that's literally it. So just make sure that your rim's in a good position, there's no gaps, because you'll see the gaps in game. So then you want to make sure. As I said in the other video, if you've watched that, but you need to make sure that anything that is a part of your tire is set to the material vehicle underscore tire, the adaption. So if it's not a vehicle underscore tire, all you can do is go here and then click GTA generic tire. And then just make sure all your material is set up with your textures and stuff like that. So once we've added this, what we want to do is go ahead and click attach. We want to attach the rim to the wheel. And then what I do is go display, reset the world, click that. Then I go and reset to local axes. And just because I don't really want to have to sit here and continuously move around this dummy. So what you can do is if 
your dummies moved away from like the axes and you don't want to set them moving around, you can just create a copy of this wheel. Then we just right click, convert to dummy. Then we can just drag these two in, boom. And then you can just LOD it. So L0, convert to compound, lock, L0, drag in. And then you just drag this out of the old dummy and delete the old dummy. And boom, you're done. Your room's changed. It's literally as simple as that. Not even a five minute job. But you can do a lot faster once you get used to it. But yeah, that's what you gotta do. So enjoy, lads.